isang exciting na 4x4 adventure, we'll trek, hike up, and explore Mount Pinatubo's spectacular surroundings. We'll witness the Emerald Green Crater Lake and panoramic views from the summit. Yan ang adventure na share ko ngayon sa inyo. Tara, piyay tayo! Mount Minatubo is an active stratovolcano located on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. Huling pumutok ang Mount Pinatubo noong June 15, 1991. It was in fact the second largest terrestrial eruption of the 20th century. Before the eruption, Mount Pinatubo was covered with vegetation and was home to more than 30,000 people na nakatira sa maliliit na villages sa paligid ng vulkan. But, the devastating event killed more than 350 people and left more than 200,000 people homeless. Sa ngayon, isang Mount Pinatubo sa mga main choice of destination for first-time hikers. Bukod sa napakagandang natural scenery, accessible at madali lang ang trek papunta sa summit ng vulkan. I've arranged a private tour for two. Kasama na rito ang round-trip transportation from Manila to Pinatubo Base Camp. Round trip off road 4x4 vehicle, all fees, and a local guide. We were picked up at 3 a.m. in Manila and we arrived at the base camp by 5.30 in the morning. After signing the waiver form, sumakay na kami ng 4x4 and we were ready to go for our off road adventure. Sakto, nabuta namin ng sunrise habang pinabagtas namin ng volcanic trail to Mount Pinatubo. Kakaibang experience ito. It gets bumpy and dusty, pero ayos lang. Kasama yan sa thrill. Depending on the weather, the lahar can change the landscape making the lahar road impassable for the 4x4 vehicles. If this is the case, the usual 3 kilometers distance can extend up to 10 kilometers. To protect yourself from dust and elements, bring and wear a mask. A normal workout outfit is perfect for this adventure. Comfy shoes for the hike, a cap, a light jacket, and you're good to go. Hindi rin namin pinalagpas ang pagkakataong magbigay ng kaunting saya titi sa mga batang aitas. We brought some candies and snacks at game na game silang mag-picture taking. Tuloy ang aming 4x4 ride. Swerte kami kasi hindi umulan. Maganda din ang panahon kaya naman talagang fun ang aming 4x4 journey. Yun nga lang, nalubog sa lahar ang gulong ng aming sasakyan. Kinailangan naming bumaba at magtulak. Salamat sa matulungin at maaasahang mga Pinoy, madali naming na-overcome ang munting pagsubok na ito. Good job! We were dropped off and we started our 3 kilometers trek by 7.30 in the morning. The trek takes an average of 2 hours to complete, but our local guide was quite impressed. Mabilis naming narating ang Mount Pinatubo Crater Lake. Mount Pinatubo today is a safe place to visit. There is no shop or restaurant at Mount Pinatubo. So make sure you've had your breakfast and bring your packed lunch and water. And of course, don't forget your camera so you can capture the powdery ash white site of Lahar, the landscape formed by the mud and lava, and the picture perfect volcanic craters lake. Sobrang ganda ng panoramic view from the summit. The water was emerald green and its surrounding mountains were majestic. Masarap sa mata at masarap sa pakiramdam. Nakakatuwang isipin na ang mapaminsalang bulkan na ito 29 years ago, isa na ngayong napakagandang attraction na dinarayo ng mga local and international tourists. We headed down the lake to have our lunch. Some tour companies offer group day hike packages to Mount Pinatubo that ranges from 2,500 to 4,000 pesos that includes round-trip transportation from Manila to Capastarlac, 4x4 cheap ride, local guide fee, and tourism fees. And if you're planning a do-it-yourself trip, pwedeng pwedeng magpas from Manila to Capas at sumakay ng tricycle from Capas to Mount Pinatubo DENR. Ang 4x4 Jeep ay nagkakahalaga ng 3,000 pesos good for 5 persons. 
ang local guide fee naman ay nagkakahalaga ng 500 pesos. Tourism fee is 500 plus 700 para sa butolan fee, primarily for the indigenous Aita. Mas tipid ka pag grupo so you can split the fees. Bagamat nakakaingan yung crystal clear na tubig, ipinagbabawal ang lumangoy dito. Kayaking or aqua cycling is also not allowed on the lake. We truly enjoyed our time while we soak up the beauty of this wonder. Wala pang ibang tourist kaya naman nasol at nakapag-relax pa kami by the lake. Para sa mga explorer and nature lover who wants to escape the hustle and bustle of Manila, perfect ang adventure na ito. First time hiker ka man o hindi, you will absolutely enjoy the entire journey. And when you're done taking pictures, take in the moment. Breathe and soak up the beautiful sight of Mount Pinatubo. I hope you like this video, and if you're planning to go to Cebu, check out my canyoneering travel vlog by clicking the link above. Thank you for your support, and please like and share my Facebook page, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly click the notification bell so you won't miss my next travel vlog updates. Until next time, bye!